Hi, my name is Julie Kenya and I'm with Stock and Option Solutions. And today I'm going to show you a very quick way to calculate the end of the month from a date uh, that you may have in a different cell, such as here where we have vesting dates in this particular column B. And we're going to try to return the end of the month within those uh, vesting months. There's a very quick formula that you can use to do that. It's uh, simply equal sign EO month, open the paren and point it to the cell that you want to return the date, uh, the end of the month for. In this case, we're looking at cell B4 and uh, the number of months, we just want the current month, so we say zero. So that returns to us the end of February. Another quick formula is returning the end of the quarter. Again, we start with the EO month formula and we indicate that we want to bring in the vesting date in this case in cell B4 and we want to find the end of the quarter that's going to be relative to that date. So we continue to add a, an extender to the formula where we are going to uh, return the number of months that are divided by uh, a divisor, which in this case is going to be the number three. Uh, and uh, miraculously, we get the end of the quarter being March 31st in this case. Uh, it's a very quick and easy formula, eliminates the need to do text to columns and concatenations. And then the cell is actually recognized as a date uh, if you need to do any uh, v lookups or index matches from these particular cells. So again, quite simply, we use the end of month, which is EO month, and point it to the cell that you want to return the date for, and it knows to return the end of the month. For end of quarter, we start out with end of month as the formula, and we add an additional piece to it to pull in the number of months relative to each individual quarter and uh, it pulls in the end of that quarter for you. So I hope this has been helpful. We use this quite frequently here at Stock and Option Solutions, and I think you're going to find it useful as well. Thanks for joining us today.